Hey, good afternoon folks. Joy Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we are touring a brand new International Housing Concepts Model C. You probably noticed the video I've done on this one here. Uh, basically this house is a mirror image of the Model C. This is the standard layout. This is generally how most people's properties at like the RV parks are going to lay out where the doors on the passenger side, utilities on the driver's side. So I just wanted to give you a tour of what to expect when you're ordering a, a unit before you do any engineering or mirroring the floor plan. So I'm going to come over here into the back corner and show you the tankless on-demand hot water tank. So this is where your water connection is going to be. You've also got your 50 amp service here in the back corner. There's your 50 amp panel on the outside. I like how they take this tankless on-demand hot water tank and, and frame it in. They put the hardy board siding around it. Uh, help insulate it for the winter time Really nice thing to have those on-demand hot water tanks So for the propane use you're gonna see the hot water tank the cooking and the dryer For the inside the heating is actually going to be electric. We use the ductless mini splits for those um, And they don't really pull that much power so we can stay at 50 amp service for that Another cool thing I like about what they do as a standard feature is they do a 12 inch eave off the side. So generally you're gonna see like a six inch, some places even do two inch. And I, I really don't like the two inch eaves, just mainly because the water just comes right down the siding into the walls, and, or not into the walls, but over the windows. And I just like how they do a 12 inch eave. It gives you enough extension without necessarily putting up uh, rain gutters. So really cool feature. I get a lot of people asking me about the uh, what's up here on the roof. It looks like plywood. Well, it actually is. So it is a windbreak to break the wind off the shingles. We don't want half the shingles blown off during transport. So we put those up uh, just to keep those shingles on. You even do the strips right there. Uh, once it, the setup company comes in, they'll remove it, fill it with caulking, repaint it. You can't even tell they were there. So um, just makes things easier and a smoother process for us having those up there. Also, uh, the hitch is detachable. You can unbolt that when it gets there, slide it under the home, then skirt underneath it. Get a lot of questions about that too. I like how they do all these bump outs. You know, it doesn't look like a giant box when you have it bumped out. You have a different transition and roof line. You got the cathedral peak to the lofted ceiling. You got the window up in the loft. Uh, we also did the bade front on the front side of it. So we round that off and, and just gives it a lot more curb appeal. So these guys killed it on that uh, with this unit. Um, also the four axles, just the amount of weight. We've got drywall, we've got hardy board. Um, those are very heavy. So we always put four axles on it to help prevent from um, you know blowouts, getting the insulation torn up and stuff. So uh, that's another reason why we have so many axles on our units. All right, the main entryway here, full view door got the internal mini blinds that way if you wanted privacy you can just roll them down into the internal part of the door and we did the solid door or a 36 inch door instead of a slider to give you all that wall space for the TV up here so we put the outlet and the conduit five feet up off the ground so you can mount your TV have all your all your cords hidden and uh, just have it look a little bit cleaner in here Love how all these windows, the whole front side, this side, uh, you know, keep in mind, you don't need to have all these windows. We like having windows, brings a lot of light in. If you got a good view, um, but you know, customizing your own, some people might not want these windows over here, so we would just take them out. But I like how this whole front side is full of glass and you also have the Pentagon window up above to fill that area up nicely, so. Also got prep for a ceiling fan up above. Don't know if you're going to really need it because we've got the ductless mini split systems up here. Uh, one comes standard. We've got two in this unit. We've got one in here in the kitchen living room area. They oscillate. They go up and down, left and right, so they can get a good breeze coming through the house. They do heating and cooling. And you also got one in the bedroom that does the same thing. Here in the kitchen, we did the gray lowers with the white upper cabinets and the white pantry. Kind of nice to break it up a little bit in the kitchen. Of course you could pick whatever color you want but uh, this is what I decided to pick out when designing this home. We also did the black granite countertops, one bowl farmhouse sink with the apron. Kind of nice they come with extra attachments to put in there, colander, 
um, you know, a strainer and stuff like that for the sink. You got the pull down faucet. You can put a dishwasher in here if you wanted to. A lot of people like the extra storage in the kitchen, so that's just an option that you guys might want to do, might not want to do. Uh, we did the stainless steel appliances, microwave above the range. Also got the double door French door fridge with the bottom freezer. We just ha don't have the handles installed on them yet, so um, those will install once we get it to customer site. Big pantry over here on the left side, about seven feet tall. So you got tons of storage in there. Did the full extension backsplash. Now here in the hallway, this is what I like to do is leave it open because there's really not very many spaces you're gonna wanna, or, or you have space to put like a vacuum or a broom, things like that. So people might put their vacuum here, do some open shelving. We could put a pantry or a linen cabinet here in this space. Just kind of depends on what you want to do, but generally we try to leave it open. That way you have space for your vacuums, your brooms and stuff like that. And then you can do adjustable shelving later on if you wanted to. Here in the bathroom, we also did the pocket door. So we try to avoid swinging doors as much as we can. We don't want the doors swinging into the bathroom or we don't want it swinging into the bedroom because you have the bed there. And so pocket doors just work a little bit better in most floor plans. Uh, we also got the granite countertops here in the bathroom, did the banjo counter over the toilet. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it's always good to have extra countertop space. Got the medicine cabinet above, above the sink. And we've got the 54 inch walk-in shower with a shower seat. So um, that comes standard. You can do a tub shower combo if you wanted to. Just kind of comes down to what you guys want to do, but most people want the walk-in shower. It's just a little bit more accessible. Coming over here, we've got the 24 inch area for the stackable washer and dryer. That's all you're gonna fit in these areas. You got the staircase right next to, to us here. Can accommodate for 27 inch, I get that question a lot. So 24, that's what you're gonna wanna do. Got the gas for the dryer, exterior vent. So we don't do the ventless, we do exterior vented dryers. And here we go into the bedroom. Of course, it's going to accommodate for a queen size mattress. We don't recommend king size. Some people squeeze them in there, but um, queen's going to be the most functional. Here's the second mini hat, mini split system for the bedroom. And we've got the big closet. All the open shelving, all the space you want to hang your clothes. This side you can hang dresses, maybe even put a small safe or something in there. Um, and then you also got the plant shelf for above. Tons of storage. And can't forget the loft. So I like this staircase because when it comes around the corner like that, you've got a much bigger landing for your staircase. So you know these stairs are gonna be fairly steep. Having these bigger landings just helps you get in and out of the loft a lot easier. So let's go take a look up here into the loft. So this is just gonna be a single loft. Um, we have some floor plans where you can do a double loft where it goes over the, uh, the bedroom area. This one just goes over the bathroom hallway. Good for a twin size, full size mattress, maybe a couple bean bags, put a TV up here for the kids, or if you just want good storage. So having the loft is always good to have. Nice aluminum handrails, very sturdy. I like what they do there. Well, you got the pendant lights over there too. I forgot to mention that. So anyways, we're really excited about having these here. Very good quality built homes that come standard with a lot of different things. And uh, yeah, if you guys are curious about um, all our other floor plans that we offer out of here, just give us a call, 888-222-2699. And uh, we'll be more than happy to send you all the information you're looking for in these homes. Once again, thank you guys so much for following. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it's a big help for us. So I just really appreciate you guys following the channel. Uh, once again, Joey Nelson, Park Model Homes.